Hello people, welcome back to another preview. Um, no live stream this time round because, I mean, it's Wolfsburger away. I mean, what is there really to talk about? So I thought, let me just try and round it up as quickly as I could and give you <laughs> many, many minutes back because this isn't going to take long. I'll be shocked if it goes above five minutes. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. I just want to shout out all of you lot as well for getting me to 2K. I really, really want to big you up. Um, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love. Without you lot, <laughs> I'd be kicking myself in the corner thinking, why am I doing this YouTube thing? But honestly, you've welcomed me with open arms. And I, I mean, I, I, I'm so grateful for the start I had. And it, it just pushes me to want to, to, to put out more content. So literally more content for your head tops for the rest of the year. Nothing on my head top today. I decided to don the... To get rid of the hat this week, I'm pledging to be on every single stream um, that I'm scheduled to be on this week wearing no hat, no woolly, no nothing because my stupid bald head does not deserve it. Yeah, because this Spurs team have been slapping my head around all the last two months and this stupid head of mine kept thinking that some of these players were going to come good and reality is just slapped. So now that I've literally cut off all my hair, I want that reality to just slap the back of my head and make sure that feeling's there so I don't forget how bad some of the players in our team are. So let me not start off with negativity. Listen, we got the Europa League. We're playing Wolfsburg at AC. We're away, I think, uh, let me just quickly double check, but I know that we had to move the location of the game due to COVID restrictions, so we're not... We were initially scheduled to play in Austria, but yeah, we can't play in Austria anymore. So we're going to be playing in Hungary instead. So we're going to be playing in the Puskas Arena. I believe Liverpool just played there earlier. And yeah, what more can I say really? It's a must win. It's a must win for us. It's a must win. And it's ahead of a big game on the weekend against West Ham, which I will preview with uh, Dan Lawless from West Ham Fan TV. But actually focusing on this match, we have to win. We have to win this game. Sorry, I'm, I'm literally researching this Austrian league because I, I was Googling it the other day and I'm pretty sure um, Wolfsburg at AC are like seventh. Yeah, they're like, yeah, they're sixth. They're sixth in their league and they are 16 points off top spot held by RB, RB Salzburg. I mean, I'm, I'm apprehensive about sort of downplaying the quality of opposition that we've been given, but we couldn't have had a kind of draw. I couldn't give you one player from this team, not one. I couldn't name you one player from this team. <laughs> and I really hope it's not the commentator's curse here because I don't want Spurs to go there and embarrass me, but we have to go there and win. What I want from this Europa League tie is to make this as comfortable as possible. I don't want to be going back and forth with... No disrespect, but a much inferior team. Much inferior team. Um, I know we've struggled in the past where we've not played Sun and Kane in some of these away matches. We saw it at Lask. We saw it at Royal Antwerp. Like These are teams on similar levels to, I don't know, to, to Wolfsburger. But I mean, if you can't beat Wolfsburger, then what's the point? Like, when are we going to actually make some of these fringe players stand up and be counted? Because they have let us down time and time and time again this season. And it feels like I'm even asking for too much by asking them to deliver. But they have to deliver. We have a crucial game against West Ham on the weekend on Sunday. And if we lose that game, we go nine points behind West Ham. Do you know how embarrassing that is? We have lost five of our last six games. We need a result. We have to win on, on Thursday. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. I don't really care. We have to win. We have to win. Whether he plays Ali, whether he plays Sun, etc., we have to win. You imagine that because Harry Kane's played every single game since he's been rushed back from injury, you imagine that Vinicius will get a look in um, away to away to Wolfsburger. But well, I say away at the neutral venue. But I mean, can Jose Mourinho afford to rest Harry Kane or Sun? They're dead on their feet. They're playing 90 minutes week in, week out. I can't remember the last time Suns actually had a full 90 minutes rest. I can't. We brought him on against bloody Wickham, for heaven's sake. So best believe that, unfortunately for us, one of Son or Kane will play on Thursday because the manager just doesn't trust 
some of these fringe players to get the job done without some of the, some of the big names on the pitch. We've seen Hoybier, he's been lagging in recent weeks as well. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him. Very tired this play against Man City. Very tired this play against Everton. And it's to be expected. The guy's literally playing every single minute for us. And yet, yet, <laughs> there's no rest for the wicked. He still has to keep playing. Me personally, Joe Rodon, I know he's not registered for this for this round of 16. And I don't know whose decision that was. We know I know we can add him in at the next round. I mean, round of 32, sorry. But I don't know. I know we can add him in at the round of 16, but he's not in the round of 32. Who's, whose smart idea was that? Hmm? Whose was it? But anyway, let me actually focus on the, on the team news. We know Regulong isn't available. We know La is not available. But Ali is available. Inconsistent, yes. But he's a goal threat and he can play the number 10 position. I want to see him start. Yeah? Harry Winks, shocking, shocking, shocking cameo against Everton. Does he deserve to start? I don't know. That's up to the manager, but unfortunately for Hoybier, he's going to have to play this game. So it's going to be Ali number 10, Hoybier, defensive, and one of Sissoko or Winks are going to have to play in midfield and step up. Literally. Steven Bergvine, you expect that he might come back into the team, but one player who will definitely come back into the team is Gareth Bell. Everyone's getting gassed over the cameo that we saw from Bell um, against, against Man City 15 minutes. That's the best 15 minutes we've seen from Gareth Bell all season. That's the best 15 minutes we've seen from Gareth Bell all season. And we're in February. We're midway through February. It just puts into perspective how bad, how bad things have been. He hasn't stuck out from the likes of Mora or Lamella or Bergwijn. He hasn't. And he needs to step up now and be counted. We need to be able to rotate and utilise this big squad. We have such a big squad and yet it feels as if Jose Mourinho can't utilise it properly because there are just so many underperformers. Yes, the system doesn't help. Yes, we know that Jose Mourinho is not the right man for Spurs, but honestly... Some of these players that he has to work with, it's literally trying to like, it's trying to like draw blood from a stone. That's how bad it's getting now, just to ask some of these up for some consistency, for some quality. Me personally, defence as well, Davison Sanchez. <sighs> I don't know, man. Joe Rodon, I would want him to play this game, but Davison Sanchez might have to start. Eric Dial, he was probably the best of the lot against Man City, but he's cracked too. You expect that Alderweireld will probably come into the team. So maybe go with Alderweireld and Sanchez. Listen, this team are not that good. They're not that good. We shouldn't have to be playing so many first-teamers. That was the whole benefit of getting a kind draw because it meant that we could still rest some of our, some of our better players. But unfortunately, we can't. But <laughs> I've gone well over time. I'm, I'm eight minutes now. I'm probably going to get to 10 minutes and then I'll, 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 I'll call it quits. Defence, we know Ben Davies is going to start because there's no regular. But me personally, I would put Tanganga left back and I would play, um, and I would play Matt Doherty or, or, or Serge Aurier. In fact, let Ben Davies play this game and drop him in the, as far as Premier League is concerned. For me, Jaffet needs to be playing regularly in the league now in either the left fullback position or the right fullback position. It's one or the other. And Serge Aurier has been the best fullback we've had on form this season alongside Reginon. So you expect he's going to retain the right back spot in the league. So you expect Matt Doherty will come in on Thursday. Let him come in on Thursday. Just please deliver. Please deliver. And Hugo Lloris as well. Oh, horrendous, horrendous, horrendous month. It's literally been about three or four disaster classes in a, in a row. He might need a break. But my concern is the guy who steps in to, to fill his shoes in this game is even worse. But Hugo Lloris might need a break because I, don't, I can't explain the, the, the erratic head loss mistakes. We've seen it from Lloris. He goes through these spells where he, he could be playing like a bag of crap for a month. And then for whatever reason, he'll come back and he'll be sick for the rest of the season. We saw it last year before his injury. Brighton, Southampton, horrendous. And then he comes back from his injury, amazing. The season before that, in our run to the Champions League, shocking game against Barcelona, shocking game against Man City, both at home. And yet he comes back, has a great game against West Ham and, that, and then goes on to be one of our best players this season. But I feel like for now, he needs to be taken out the firing line.
So let's actually go through the lineup now. So Joe Hart will say he has to start. One of Aurier or Doherty will play. I reckon it will be Doherty. Alderweireld should come back into the team. Davison Sanchez most likely will keep his spot because Joe Rodon's not eligible and Eric Dyer. For whatever reason, Jose Mourinho loves playing this guy in the league, so I can't imagine he will drop him. But either way, they're both as bad as each other. So whether it's Dyer or whether it's Sanchez, they're both bad right now. And then left back Ben Davies. Unfortunately, Hoybier will have to play in midfield. Harry Winks or Sissoko should come back into the team. Ali should start in number 10. Steven Bergvine on the left. Gaff Bell on the, on the right. And ideally, I would want Vinicius to play up top. But you imagine, it's either going to be Kane up top or Son on the left. You imagine that's going to be the case. Because that's what we've grown accustomed to seeing this season, especially in some of these inferior matches, due to the fact that some of our squad players just don't want to step up. And we need them to step up. If, you can, if you're watching this, if anyone sends it on, please, I'm talking to you, Winks. I'm talking to you, Doherty. I'm talking to you, Ben Davies. I'm talking to you, Davidson Sanchez. I'm talking to you, Gareth Bell. I'm even talking to you, Vinicius, as well. I know you ain't, you ain't had game time. I'm talking to you, Bergvine. We need you lot to step up because now the games are coming thick and fast. And I don't know if anyone's realised it, but spoiler alert, the Europa League is gonna is increasingly looking like our best chance of getting Champions League football next year. So we can't be faffing about. I don't want to see players exerting unnecessary pressure, like we saw against Everton, like we saw against Wickham. I don't want to see that happening. I want this to be as smooth as possible. And I feel because Jose Mourinho wants that too, he might even have to play some of the strongest players get the early goals and take them off. And that's the state that it's got to right now. But I don't want to keep going over the same points. I'm expecting that we're going to win this game. I, for some reason or another, I don't expect we're going to keep a clean sheet because we just never do. But I'm expecting we're going, to, we're going to win this game and I'm expecting we're going to win this game 3-1. That's my prediction. I'm hoping we do it. But this is Toby. This is Tapping Tobe's YouTube channel. I, I can't believe I said that. That sounded kind of cringy. But... Thank you for listening. Um, hopefully Spurs win. If you've liked what you've heard, continue, in, uh, and continue in, in supporting me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram as well. If not, then at least you've watched it. <coughs> at least you've got this on watching me talk. But honestly, folks, take care and up the Spurs.